Guys, what are we doing today? The playing would be fun, wouldn't it, Amber? Cole, what are we doing? My husband says my dogs are too hairy and that I need to get grooming them. Look at poor Cole. Look at all that hair. Look at Amber. Amber, where are you? How do you look like? So today we're going to start by giving Ember a bath. We're going to do how to do a puppy bath. We've got her some special treats up there to make her bath fun. And then we're going to show you how to towel an English Springer Spaniel so that their coat lies flat and you don't have to shave all their back coat off. You can um, have it nice and flat and looking nice. And then I'll show you how to groom it another time. But today we'll just get our bath cool and a nice little grooming, a nice little toweling done today. So here's the bathing salon. It's just basically our extra bathroom, my kid's bathroom. And here's the tub we're gonna use. I used to have a really nice extension that went on my shower head so I could spray my dogs when they were in the bath, but I haven't in my new house yet done that. I used to groom at my mom's and she had one for me, but here my husband has installed one. So we're gonna use today, we're laying a towel to dry her. We're gonna have a baby Kong here with some yummy peanut butter and some of her dog food in it to keep her busy while I'm bathing. And then we're going to use, this is my favorite brand right now. It's called Tropiclean. This one's hypoallergenic for puppy shampoo. It's gentle coconut. And it's really gentle on their fur and really, it says it's soap free and it's earth friendly. So it's good for the environment. And I find the coats are really soft after we use them. So I'm going to get Ember. So now the best part is that Ember and I have to get in the bath together. We've also here have a red cup. I'm mean, going to use a red solo cup, but you can use a jug or any sort of plastic cup to wet her. And I have this nifty children's accessory that actually will help me to wet her as well. All right, let's get started. So I'm getting the bath to the right temperature. It's a little bit cold right now. And then as you can see, I can pull the bomb underneath this cup and wet her a bit this way. And her tail feathers here and her back of her legs. Getting a bit hot, Amber. Right, good girl. And then this is where she's actually pretty good. She's had a few baths. Do you want to try the clown? No, you don't want to. Maybe we should do the peanut butter. You just want to hug mommy. Oh dear. You're a good girl. Here, try it. Tummy, taste it. No, yeah. Try it. Okay, well, we'll try it after. And wipe your ears down. We're all wet, and then we're going to soap you up. So Ember's nice and wet now, so we're going to start soaping. I was just going to say, some puppies, Ember's a little nervous, so she doesn't want to take the Kong, but some people put peanut butter on the side, like over here, and try to get her to lick the peanut butter. She's just not interested in any food, but a lot of dogs that are very food motivated would like this. I'm dirtying up the bathtub for you, monkey. There you go. It's a nice treat. Okay, so we're going to take her puppy shampoo and we're just going to shampoo her all over till she's nice and sudsy. Or at least covered and you can start seeing the dirt. So we'll start with her neck. Go down her back. We might have to wet her a bit through this because I don't have the spray. It's harder to get them completely wet. No splashing, mommy. Get your dirty bum, your tail, your the ears. And up. Inside her ear flap, on her face just a little bit, not a lot on her face, just a little teeny bit. We get the soap up, we're gonna soap under her neck, her chest, and we're gonna do her legs and her sides and everywhere, under her armpits and her tummy. She doesn't have too much fur, she's growing a lot of back fur, but she doesn't have too, too much. I'm on her last leg here, and I'm just going to be ready to shower. I'm just going to say, usually when I have dogs in for grooming, I groom my friends and family's dogs and a few other friends' dogs, um, I will clip them first. But because they're my dogs, and I want to towel them, and I want to kind of save my clippers, I would bath them first. So that's just part of why we're bathing a very hairy dog here. Okay, now we're going to start rinsing. The water's at a good temperature again. Remember, do you want to try your comb again? No. You're not interested in that. Strike with Jim. This is a good, I don't need anything else. One shampoo should be enough. She's not super, super dirty. Then we'll take her down and use the hair dryer and we'll put her towel on. Okay, we want to make sure we get all the soap bubbles out everywhere armpits, legs. 
this night we can pour under the top of it. I do this with my bigger dogs that are more used to bathing. Get it right under. You can see the water's a little brown here because she's been playing in the yard and the snow and everything else. That's not too bad. I'm going to be bad in the spring. So we're doing the last few rinses on Ember here. Just that I'm just pretty wet. Clean looking now. So then I'm going to squeeze all the water out of her. And I can, I do this, I can feel if she has any soap left. Squeeze her. I gotta go. No. Squeeze her ears. Her legs. And then her legs, they need a little bit more rinsing. So I'm going to rinse them a bit more, but she's almost done. Take a second. Then I'm going to towel her and then we'll take her downstairs. There we go. She says, I'm all done now. See you guys in a minute. Okay, Amber, let's go get your stuff on. Are you super excited? Cool, if you have a bath with that would be able. Okay, so now we're gonna towel our dog. We're gonna brush her through with our brush and our comb. And then we're gonna put this towel on here with these two kilt pins. And we're gonna give it a little spray with this nice Monette Pet. It's a deodorizer, but it kind of helps uh, keep her coat flat as well. It gives it a little something sticky to kind of help pull it down. After her towel, if I was taking it to her dog show, I would use one of these beautiful velvety capes here that are handmade um, by Mary, a dog dogrobe.com um, and I use these once her hair was dry just to keep her nice if I'm getting gooey and dirty in my house before I take her to a dog show. So first we're going to just comb her through and then give her a little blow dry and put on her towel here. Okay, let's get started. I'm just going to brush her out make sure she has no knots. Help her dry a little bit too. I'm going to brush with the hair. So we'll go down her back and then down her sides. On this side you can see down her sides here. I try to get the waves out a little bit so that with a coat, when I put on a towel, it'll just help to make this wavy coat flat. This Her coat needs a lot of stripping. It has too much undercoat in it right now. So I will do that after I groom her. But I'm just going to towel her anyways. It'll make it much faster and easier to do. Okay, so I'm going to spray her down with deodorizer, and then I'm going to start blow drying. I'll probably do a little more spray after as well, but this will just kind of help keep her smelling nice and then help keep her coat flat. I used to have a better one that I used, but I haven't uh, been dog showing since Cole was about one. So I need to go purchase a whole bunch of new things like that. But I really like this one. It's very nice. Oh, Cole, so happy you're clean and smelling good, Ember. Look at Cole. Ember, stay. Oh, oh my God. I'm gonna try to blow dry her ears and her under furnishings here. So her tummy a little bit, her legs, maybe a bit on her bum, and I'll leave the back soaking wet so it can dry under her towel. So since this grooming table doesn't have a proper arm, which my one does in my basement, but I opted just for this for toweling today, she's gonna to try to give her the Kong while I do some blow drying here, but she really doesn't want anything. How about you grab a treat back there, see if that works. I'm still just trying to blow dry your front. Her ears are almost done. I'm trying to make it a good experience for the puppy, so because she'll be doing this a lot if she's going to be a little show dog. She'll so have to get her hair blown dry a lot. Good low there, like. All right, I'm going to brush. Time for toweling now, and I'm going to brush Ember's hair down her back like this, and then down her sides, each side. You can see her little extremities are dry, but her back is still wet. 
She's not gonna towel perfectly because she hasn't been toweled more than probably once. But we're trying to teach her hair to lie flat and lie in this direction. So I'm gonna take my kilt pins and open them up. This is Cole's favorite part, right Cole? Cool. <laughs> cool. off. Cool. So I'm gonna fold her towel in half. Should have had this prepared because she keeps trying to leave, but try our best. Then we're gonna put it over her back. Even it, it's not, maybe make it a teeny bit longer stay. And I'm gonna pull it and I'm gonna pin it under her neck here. I know she's a special girl, lady. Eh? Then I'm gonna pin it under her tummy, right in the middle here, right here. Oh, she looks beautiful, I know. Snap it in there. I'm just gonna brush her bone down a little bit so I don't have too many curls back here. And then she's gonna get down with cool. Things it's about playtime after bath. Gets very, very excited. Cole, get off of her. Ever, where'd you go? Ever, what happened to you? Ever, where are you? Ever, stop. Here, here. Ember, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, now you're stuck in your dowel, too. <laughs> what happened to you? You have a bath. Now you crazy wild girl. You had to lock him outside because he was so mean to you, right? Thought you were too beautiful. Okay, so we're going to take Ember's coat off and see how dry she is now. This towel is still damp, so I don't think she's 100% dry, so I might put on one of these little velour silky coats and see how they do. So see, her hair is quite flattened. She looks quite nice. And I'm going to, here, I'm gonna do a little brush. Brush it up, but she's not shedding at all. Holy was shedding a lot. Ember's not. Ember had a big drink of water, so she wet her ears and made herself look silly. Now we're going to slip this one on. So this one goes over her head. Her face. She hasn't worn one of these before. It's perfect size for you, Ember. Look at that. It's nice. Oh, it does. And we're going to do it. It has a little special flap here where the pin will go through, where they've sewed in an extra kind of fabric, so I'm going to pin those two spots together and try to put the pin through her stomach, uh, under her stomach here. There she goes, and then she can finish drying like this. You look beautiful, my sweet. And she, no, it's perfect. Staying on her neck, and she can wear this for a little bit, and then we'll take it down. Take it off, I mean, sorry. All right, let's go. You gonna go play with Cole now? You're gonna play nice. Thanks for watching Ember and Cole's English Schmugger Spaniel family. Come back and join us and watch some more fun with Ember and Cole, and then there'll be some more grooming. They'll be groom finishing Cole and his giving him a bath and grooming him for Master Groom Canada, and we'll finish this puppy groom as well. Please subscribe and like below. I'll leave all of my things I used today, all of the tools in the description below. And we'll be seeing you soon with some more grooming and some more fun with the dogs. Take care. Bye.